What's up guys, we got big news from Nano Dimension, a brand new acquisition, but I wanna talk to you about what I think bring, this brings to the company and what both the CEO of the new company that Nano Dimension just acquired and what Yoaf Stern has to say about this new partnership as well. So stick around. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Richard Allen. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. We're going to talk about the brand new Nano Dimension acquisition today that just happened. It's a Semtech. This isn't a big acquisition. This isn't the major acquisition we're waiting for, but I think it's a strategic, synergistic acquisition. I think it's a good thing, and we're going to talk about why in the long run. Now, this is a business with high margins, lots of revenue, more revenue than Nano Dimension had, and they're purchasing them uh, for... Uh, right around the amount of revenue that they had for the last 12 month period. This is a good, good deal for Nano Dimension, like seriously. So if we take a peek at who they purchased, they purchased a Semtech. A Semtech's product portfolio is comprised of production equipment for placing and assembling electronic components on printed circuit boards. They are a leader in adaptive, highly flexible surface mount technology, pick and place equipment, sophisticated dispenser suitable for both high speed and micro dispensing and intelligent production material storage and logistic system. Its products are equipped with a sophisticated software package which makes extensive and efficient material management possible. The Semtex equipment and software have been having impact with customers since their first machine was introduced as their high-tech solution can be adjusted quickly and easily to meet wide-ranging requirements, they are able to respond to all manner of customer needs, particularly in high-mix, low-volume production environment. Their portfolio of products will continue to be available to the thousands of organizations that have called themselves a customer of a Semtech. While also being part of the AME revolution that Nano Dimension is driving with its existing technology. Let's go over some financial highlights for a Semtech real quick. Again, over the past 12 month period, ending December 31st, 2020, revenue was $17.2 million. I'll tell you why that number is so fantastic here in a second, based on how much Nano Dimension is paying for this company. Gross margin was 60% over that period. Eight months ending 831, 2021, revenue was 15.4 million. So they're on pace to exceed last year's numbers as well. And gross margin was also 60%. They have a backlog, meaning real life signed purchase agreements, real money coming into the company eventually as of September 17th, 2021, worth approximately $6.9 million. And here's why all of this is really, really important. That $17 million revenue, 60% ghost margins last year. Nano Dimension is only paying $15.1 million for the company. That's fantastic, fantastic news. Now, there is a clause in this acquisition that they will pay up to an additional 9.7 million based on pre-agreed performance-based formulas and metrics to be hit over the next 14 months. Nano Dimension has $1.4 billion in the bank right now. This is a drop in the bucket compared to how much money they have out there. So we're really waiting for a big, big, big acquisition. We're not getting it unfortunately. But I do want to give you the highlights of what both the CEO of a Semtech and the CEO of Nano Dimension have to say about this acquisition. CEO of a Semtech commented, it is an exciting combination of two leading technology leaders serving the PCB and wider electronic industry segments. The combination of Nano Dimension's strength in the Americas with the Semtech's strong presence in Europe will enhance both product lines. Additionally, I believe that the merger of the technologies will yield enormous influence and transformational momentum in the world of 3D printed electronics and assembly. The Assemtech team, as well as me personally, are looking forward to continuing our journey as part of the combined teams of Assemtech and Nano Dimension. Now, the CEO and chairman of Nano Dimension, Yoav Stern, has this to say on the acquisition. Semtex scientists and engineers and other team members, all of whom joined Nano Dimension upon closing of this transaction, are leading experts and industry veterans in machine building, software, mechanical automation, and robotics. They're going to continue to be led by their present management crew, supported by Ziki Paled, COO of Nano Dimension. Mr. Stern continued, Semtex present products fit Nano Dimension's PCB 
and PCB assembly markets, as well as the original equipment manufacturing's vertical which we serve. As such, we hope to leverage the distribution channels and go-to-market efforts of both organizations. In parallel, our mutual vision is to merge the technologies of our micro-electronic 3D fabrication machines for high-performance electronic devices with a Semtech's fuller suite of in-fabrication process equipment assembly capabilities. He goes on, no less important is our intention to use our newly acquired deep learning based artificial intelligence technologies from our deep cube acquisition to become the robotic brains for a Semtex systems. We expect this will improve yield and throughput and drive a more seamless integration with Nano Dimensions AME systems. The Semtex machines fit the larger picture of Nano Dimensions vision aiming to establish industry 4.0 solutions which entail building an artificial intelligence distributed digital manufacturing application rather than just machines as capital equipment. The end goal is to reach a capability for maintaining an inventory of high-end PCB devices, micro-mechanical parts of high peds in digital form. Print and assemble them as you need them, where you need them, only the quantity you need in the best quality at competitive prices as it is done in highest yield and throughput possible for that point in time, specifically in high mix, low volume scenarios. Now that last part gives us a little bit of indication there into the neural network that they want to build of these machines. This I think is a little bit more insight into where Nano Dimension going, is going in the future. Now, is Nano Dimension going to be a mass producing juggernaut of PCBs? Probably not. That's not their goal. He said it right there, right? High mix, low volume scenarios. That's really important to know because if you ever expect Nano Dimension to be making PCBs at scale, that's not the goal. It's not the goal for Nano Dimension. So just kind of keep that in mind. They're focusing on AI. They're focusing on the neural network type stuff. And then a Semtech. Buying a Semtech is a great thing for Nano Dimension because a Semtech has a sales team, right? Nano Dimension really doesn't, but I think a Semtech obviously has some sort of sales team. If they're selling to Nano Dimension for less than $25 million and they have, you know, last year $17 million worth of revenue and 15 and a half so far since August. This is this is good news, guys. I, I really I really do think this is really good news for Nano Dimension overall. Again. Not the big acquisition we were hoping for, but Yoav Stern is sticking to his word of being strategic and methodical and thoughtful with these acquisitions. And I think this was a good deal for Nano Dimension. And I think overall, it uh, will be a good deal for both companies in the future. Now, Nano Dimension really didn't move on this news at all. If we take a peek at the charts, they were pretty flat for the day, actually down 0.32% going in to the close of the day, trading at $6.25. So they fell a little bit after hours down to $6.21 per share, but they are up over 6% over the past week. So that's good news as well, something to keep note of. So guys, thank you so much for joining me for another video. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Thanks for coming on the journey with me. As always, if you learned something new or found any value in this video at all, let me know by hitting that like button and that subscribe button down below. Check out some of the links in the description for Weeble, Patreon, things like that to support the channel as well. I would love to have you do that. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Let's <laughs> go.